Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, they had another moderate earthquake there up on Cobb Mountain by the geysers where the geothermal power plants are pumping water into the ground. This earthquake was originally a magnitude 3.5, which USGS downgraded to a 3.3. Volcanodiscovery.com shows that it was in fact a magnitude 3.5, but both EMSC and USGS downgraded this earthquake. This earthquake was along Squaw Creek Road. They knew in the 1980s that the pumping of the water into the crust of the earth because the uh, system was drying up was causing earthquakes. Yeah, when the information got out, it was all hush-hush and let's not talk about it. Here's one of those power plants. Yeah, produces um, energy for the uh, Bay Area and other locations they send this power to. Yeah, it is a volcano. And that's how the water is heated by the heat from the magma system. Heating up the water and they use that heated water to produce power. Today alone, there was 62 earthquakes in the last 24 hours in this location. I'll show you the map here. There's the 3.3. Uh, the next largest earthquake was a magnitude 2.4. And there's its location along Big Sulphur Creek. Lucy Jones of USGS used to say that any moderate earthquake could be a foreshock for a much larger one. You had a 5% chance. They've changed that now to a 20% chance of any of these moderate earthquakes to be a foreshock for something much larger. They're not going to stop pumping the water into the system. People still need power and you can't fight these huge corporations, can you? So what are your thoughts? Did you feel this earthquake? Um, how long did it last? I'll show you a map of the different areas that felt the earthquake. It was felt as far as Clear Lake, probably Lower Lake, um, Santa Rosa, Napa, San Francisco, and San Mateo, it looks like. Redwood City. It was probably larger than even a magnitude 3.5. Let me bring this up so you can see some of the other locations. Yeah, we got Kelseyville. There's Clear Lake. Middletown had seven responses. We got here Cloverdale, three. Uh, Geyserville, five. Uh, another one from Geyserville, one. Hillsburg, eight. Uh, Calistoga, one. Napa, one. Another one from Napa. Uh, San Francisco, one. San Mateo, one. Another two from San Mateo. Hayward, one. That was 148 kilometers from where this earthquake occurred, man-made earthquake. So that would be about 92 miles. Let's see, 147, 148. Looking at the miles, 150 kilometers. So that would be about 93 miles. And you guys know that, oh, we got something way over here. Uh, Gustine, two responses there. Uh, Los Banos, one response there. Yeah, it was stronger than a 3.5. Anyways, I was going to say, you guys know that any earthquake, besides having a 20% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger, can trigger earthquakes along other fault zones. Yeah, you don't want the Hayward fault going off, do you? So how long did the shaking last? Did you have damage? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.